we are given a number of cows and also numbers a1, a2, so on, a, n. And we know that uh, cow in position i moves to position a, i. What does it mean? So our cows are lined up. Let's draw a line. And uh, there are some positions in it on this line. Um, this is the first position, second position, three, four, and five. And uh, when you say that cow i moves to position a i, for example, in this sample input, uh, cow one goes to position one. So the cow from uh, position one from here, it will move to the same position here. And the cow in position two, it will move to position three. So the cow standing here in position two, it will change its position to position three like this. Then cow three is going to position four. This cow is going to position four. And cow four goes to five. And uh, cow five goes to position two. So this cow, it will go to the empty position here. So this is a plan of our dance. And uh, now we implemented this um, shuffle one time. And in the second time, we will uh, again move the cows from uh, position one to position one, from position two to position three, and so on. So on the next step, uh, OK, let me. Okay, uh, this cow, it doesn't change its position, so it will go to position one again. And the cow from position two, now it's going to position three. And the um, cow from position three goes to position four. And cow from four goes to five. Cow from five goes to two. So uh, looking at this uh, image, we can note that um, uh, actually this cow now standing in position three, it was in position five in the beginning, then it moved to position two, then it goes to position three. So actually uh, these cows have uh, IDs or let's say names. So if this cow's name is, uh, let's say X, then it will move uh, after the first shuffle, it will be in position two. And after the second shuffle, it will be in position three. And let's say uh, this cow in position two, cow Y, it goes first to position three, then from position three moves to position four. And we uh, repeat these shuffles for three times, so uh, they will again change their positions. Uh, let's also draw them here uh, for this example. And cow one stays in its place. Cow uh, in second position goes to three. From three goes to four. Uh, four goes to five. And five goes to two. So actually, in the end, x will be in position uh, 4, and y will be in position 5 here.
And we are given uh, the positions of the cows in the end after all shuffles. So we can see where each cow stays uh, at the end. And uh, for example, here we see that in position five, there is cow 555. Uh, and if we uh, look how it moved, then we can know that it was in position four, uh, and before that it was in position three, before that it was in position two. That's why, as you see, 555 is in the second place in the output. Or, for example, um, this cow, cow 333, it was in position three, and then uh, before that in position two, and before that in position five. So uh, in the end, cow 444 stands in this position, and it means that in the beginning it was in position five here. Uh, so 444 is the last cow in the output. And we are supposed to uh, guess uh, the initial order of the cows before all shuffles. It is the problem statement. So how do we solve it? Yeah, that's what we want to do. Uh, going uh, forward is easy because uh, we are given these numbers. We know that, for example, cow two will go, cow five will go to position uh, two. Yeah, this cow will move here. But uh, what we want to do is uh, guess uh, if uh, the cow is in position five now, where it was uh, before that. How can we find it? Yes, it was in position four. Why? Yes, because position four sends to position five. And we can see that uh, by looking at this number here, uh, the fourth number in the sequence, in this permutation, actually, it is equal to five. And we want when we want to find uh, where will be cow five, where was cow five before, we have to find five in this sequence. Yeah, and when when we find it in position five, in position four, we know that this cow was here in the beginning. Yeah, so uh, we can start from the beginning. And a cow in position one, uh, to find where it was before, we are searching for one in this uh, sequence. And it's in the first position. So that's why we know that uh, after before the shuffle, it was here. And cow two, for example, we are looking for two in, the, uh, in this permutation, in these numbers. So we find it in position five. So, and it means that before the shuffle, it was here. So let's uh, try to write some code. And um, so we have an array of integers A. Uh, this is how we shuffle the cows. And also we have the uh, integer ident identificators of the cows. Let's call it ID. And uh, uh, we did three shuffles here, but uh, let's try to uh, go backwards in one shuffle. 
And if we can do that, we will only have to repeat this three times uh, to get to the beginning. Okay. So um, let's create one more array before. So this will be the IDs uh, before shuffle. So uh, start with the first cow in position zero. Uh, so I from zero to N. What we are doing, we search for I uh, in the shuffle array. And to search for it, we need one more uh, loop, one more for loop. So uh, we will say for j from 0 to n, and if you find cow find i actually i plus one in a is equal to a j then we say that before shuffling uh, in position j there was a cow which now stands in position i. So uh, before j will be equal to uh, id to id of the cow in position i. And then we will stop this loop. Should repeat this. Three times to get answer. <laughs> 